there's nothing like having a really fun feature that you want in the game so bad and then seeing apex themselves start to release teasers that might really feel that dream some new things coming into the game things that have already happened in the game that you guys need to be aware about and some drama going on in the scene that you guys want to stay up to date with of course like the video subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all things inside of the world of apex legends news without further ado let's dive into what's happening right now first we want to give a massive shout out to glitch energy they just released a new flavor not long ago called guava warfare and i am a massive fan of this so i know you guys have probably tried my flavor maui punch maybe even green aids like my second favorite flavor you guys have got to try the new ones they are really starting to up their game and just to let you on a little secret there are some new ones coming that are a little bit different than what you've seen before use code jmiles to get your 20 percent discount down in the description below if you guys want anything for my birthday stream that will be paid out pretty soon so firstly wanted to make mention crowd rindo had put out that these are new invalid end zones where the ring will never end as of the latest update which is 20 Point one. This just literally came out yesterday. And what I found very interesting was not just the map that you could see invalid end zones where all of these maps are now included. However, you also saw a comment down from a pro league analyst, DZ Privacy, obviously for Dark Zero saying, does he know? Now, I'm not sure if he's saying that these are technically wrong because I've heard that a lot of these ring end zones that never happen and those that are invalid are not necessarily always accurate. We've actually seen some take place where they say it can never end so not really sure the entirety around all of this however there was also an update that was put out to a lot of the pro players not long ago many people wonder if this has anything to do with it where it was coming from this pro league discord saying we wanted to make you guys aware of a ring system change that was not included in the 20.1 patch notes it was a part of the patch just for whatever reason didn't get disclosed and they said we wanted to basically answer those questions so that you guys had the relevant information to competitive play but in the new patch the ring placement logic received several updates the new changes are designed to make end zones less predictable ignoring the maps denial slash allow zones we apologize that this was not made clear previously and if you have any other questions you can reach out blah 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 but what i think is very interesting is that they were taking this approach of making it less predictable i feel like one of the real strong suits as far as an apex pro is concerned or honestly even you guys that play pubs or rank is being able to read the maps being able to read the zones and have a good indication as where the zone is going to end and how you want to maybe place yourself or place your team in that environment so that you can take advantage of the map setup and environment itself and basically moving to a system that is a little bit less predictable and ignoring the maps denial slash allow zones it may make room for some very interesting competitive play but i think this is what he was getting at here and privacy said does he know because this indicates that those invalid zones aren't necessarily accurate anymore or they don't really work like they used to oh so very interested to see how this works out and if they actually decide to revert back to the old way of doing it i'm pretty sure they are going to make Make some of those drop ship changes for the algs as well because of all the teams that are getting griefed and it's just really not fair that one team doesn't have a chance all because the other team decides oh i don't like those guys i'm just gonna land on them so we'll see how it all plays out in the end but a new feature that seems to be coming in apex and i'm really really hoping this is exactly what they're teasing so of course you guys probably know and have heard us made mention over this the last couple of weeks inside of apex's patch not long ago there was a new code name that seemed to be popping up a lot more often and that was apex cups and of course many people relayed this to fortnite cups in which they were actual in-game tournaments with cash prizes and they were obviously known as the fortnite cash cups well recently we saw a lot more information regarding cups for apex and specifically ones that really really caught our eyes were cups match history cups leaderboard and game mode select cups and of course a lot of people were like okay well what is this cups that seem to be coming in apex and will it be in game tournaments like we saw with fortnite and will they have some really cool prizes maybe cash maybe heirlooms who knows i just would love the idea of having a tournament mode inside the game where we can start competing in a more realistic environment now this is not to say that this is entirely what this new teaser means but there was a tweet that was released that many people started to send me and tag me in and say j miles i think this is actually teasing these apex cups as well so it said a new challenger rushes into the competition oddly enough it's octane so it's not really a new challenger but what are they talking about maybe it's because the challenge itself is not the traditional apex games it says there's a contest sign up you can see octane is signing up for this new contest in general he's signing up for t-shirts giving his name his place of residence his special skill so what exactly is going on but many people had sent this my way and said miles i think that 
that Octane is signing up for these quote Apex Cups. It's going to be awesome if that's the case and if that's actually the lore that we're getting behind this and we are moving in that direction because I would love to see that game mode actually come to light and hopefully that is some news that we get soon. But of course, we're already hoping for that information. We had already been teased about this cups that seem to be coming into Apex. So of course, you're trying to make all that information line up with it and sometimes your judgment is simply clouded. Not 100% sure that that's what it means, but I would really love and hope so as we move on and get closer to that item coming in the future. Also, I want to give you guys a quick update of some of the changes that have happened in the game as well and then also some drama going on in the scene so if you guys have not seen already hyper mist had released that gifting now has a requirement of level 50 and higher this wasn't updated with the shadow society event but it is now i think it was supposed to back then and this was something that i think apex was doing with the hackers there's a lot of gifting incidents where they were able to gift a lot of items and this was one way i think to kind of combat that but i still hope that they fix the transparency or the vulnerability that was causing it to begin with because that hacker was able to gift a lot of items but just by leveling up the requirement doesn't necessarily mean we fix the vulnerability and hopefully we get some more transparency by the way we still have not received the full like hey all the updates are now the game is safe and secure all is well so really interested to see where that goes pretty soon now also want to mention some drama going on in this scene i guess you could mention that a lot of people seem to be opening up a new issue where they open up packs and they're getting one mythic item or they're getting items that are definitely not mythic tier but they're calling them mythic for instance we've got a bloodhound pose that you could see in this one and another guy got a quip and of course those are not mythic level but they're getting that heirloom noise they're getting that mythic tier people think they're getting heirlooms and they're getting really frustrated because they're like i didn't get the full package what's going on here but well, we finally got a dev response this is about a day ago that these posts were made the dev literally just responded minutes ago as i'm recording this video right now saying please send us this information we want to do an investigation on it so my guess is no they didn't get an heirloom my guess is no you're not going to get refunded anything and this probably is not an actual mythic tier that they're looking at doing it just seems more likely that this is a problem by mislabeling the item that you actually get so i know a lot of people have been talking about that seems like there's a glitch going on but the devs have finally responded to it and it seems like they're going to be investigating this issue and hopefully you don't get your hopes up next time you see one if it does happen to you also speaking of mythics looks like apex literally were the ones to leak octane's prestige skin itself this was not only all over reddit but also people were saying it was photo photoshopped and ross had said it was not photoshopped at all but a little bit of a different approach if this is true where it wasn't necessarily heirloom shards it was more of a purchase bundle with apex coins so of course none of this stuff is ever concrete but if they did take the approach of a smaller amount of apex coins and just making mythic basically like a step above legendary where you still buy it with apex coins it's still like a pretty normal somewhat ish price I'm a lot more game for that. I don't think anything in this game is worth the amount that they're charging for, but I do think that they'll get a probable good return on this investment. I think they'll probably get a lot more interest because people are going to think, oh, this used to be crazy money. I remember when the Bangalore heirloom skin was a lot more. Now these things are a lot cheaper. I'll buy it. On top of that, I don't think that this heirloom skin for Octane is nearly as good as maybe some of the other ones, but interested to see what you guys have to say about all the topics down in the comment section below. Of course, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with all things going on inside the world of Apex Legends news. And until the next time, we'll see you all later, Gators.